morning. It's Thursday and welcome today to our daily prayers. A couple more lines from that song, Be Still. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister his grace. Here is a God in that lovely phrase who ministers his grace to us. He purifies us. He forgives us. And the words of this song, he cleanses us. We can come to him each day and know his cleansing. And also his work of healing. A lot of that is forgiveness. But sometimes it will have a physical outworking as well. Here we have a God who is seeking to bind up the wounded and to help and cleanse us. We come to him as we pray now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so today we're back in Malachi chapter 1, this time of verse 6. A son honours his father. God says, and a slave is master, if I am father, or well, where is the honour due to me? If I am a master, where is the respect due to me, says the Lord Almighty? It is you priests who show contempt for my name. But you ask, how have we shown contempt for your name? By offering defiled food on my altar. But you ask, how have we defiled you? By saying that the Lord's table is contemptible. When you offer blind animals for sacrifice, is that not wrong? When you sacrifice lame or diseased animals, is that not wrong? Try offering them to your governor. Would he be pleased with them? Would he accept you? Says the Lord Almighty. Now plead with God to be gracious to us. With such offerings from your hands, will he accept you? Says the Lord Almighty. It's quite striking that the people God puts in his sights, first of all, are the ones who are meant to lead everyone else to a proper worship of God, the priests. In those days, God had instituted a sacrificial system and the idea was you gave the best to God. But what these priests were doing was taking those animals which really were fairly worthless, they were blind or lame, they were very subpar, cutting off corners in their sacrifice. And now we do not have the sacrificial system in quite the same way. Christ for Christians is our sacrifice so we can know forgiveness and cleansing from God. But the notion of giving ourselves up for God, that sense of sacrifice is just as relevant. Are you and I good at giving God the little bit we've got left over if we've got the energy? Or do we give him the best of ourselves, the best of our time, the best of our money, the best of our resources? What do we give to God? A space to reflect and pray now. And so we come to him to pray for today. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.